Tonight, we're learning more about the conflict between those two firefighters that led one to shooting the other at a fire station on Tuesday. Los Angeles County Sheriff Lieutenant Brandon Dean says a dispute between Tori Carlin and Jonathan Tatone had been going on for several months. Dean says that four hours before the shooting, there was a shift change. Tatone went home, but then he, he came back to the station because he was called about some items that he had left in the refrigerator. That's when he shot and killed Carlin and shot and injured a fire captain before lighting his house on fire and taking his own life. Meanwhile, just days later, the daughter of the fallen firefighter, Tori Carlin, graduated from high school. NBC4's Beverly White tonight shows us how others stepped in to make it special. Graduation music never changes, but for Saugus High School class of 2021, commencement at College of the Canyons was different. Hundreds of firefighters here for senior Jocelyn Carlin, whose father, Tory, was murdered Tuesday at Fire Station 81. Jocelyn's father couldn't be here, so we're here in his place. No. There's a GoFundMe for Tory Carlin's wife and three daughters. Before tonight's ceremony, their eldest, Jocelyn, was presented with her father's turnout coat to wear across the stage. Jocelyn Lee Carlin. Support evident for Jocelyn, her mom, and other relatives tonight, surrounded by families praising their graduates too. Having to stay off of COVID, you know, we, we had a severe drop in, in the graduation rate because, you know, just a, such an abrupt switch to a different type and style of learning. And it, just proud of these kids who to pull through. Parents of other graduates tell us this ceremony is bittersweet for them too. These students all survived a school shooting back in 2019 in which one student killed two others and then himself. Speakers mentioned the slain students Dominic Blackwell and Gracie Ann Muehlberger. Bittersweet reminders of loss. There's always people to help you and to bring you up. So we had a lot of issues with the shooting and everything. I'm very grateful for being here, for seeing my oldest son graduating high school, so that's a big big step for him. But not only that, but the whole community. I mean, for the past couple of years with the shooting a year and a half ago at the high school and now with what happened in, in Acton the other day. Firefighters tell us they hold all the graduates in high esteem in the spirit of Saugus Strong. Not only are we here to support Jocelyn Carlin, but we're here to support oh, the Saugus High School family as a whole. In Valencia, Beverly White, NBC4 News.